Welcome to a new Petrolhead Classics video. Divine Madness is the title that the Classic Car Magazine choose for the road test of the Lancia Tema 832. And I think they hit the nail on the head. This highly unusual car answers a question that no one really ever asked. What would happen if you shoehorn a thoroughbred Ferrari V8 into a sensible family saloon? This model was never a commercial success with less than 4,000 cars sold between 1987 and 1992. But as true petrol heads, we are really grateful to Lancia for having the courage to go through with this rather crazy project. This short video will really work well on the history of this model, although there is plenty to say. We want to focus on taking it for a short drive and enjoy the glorious sound of that Ferrari V8. Before we do, just a couple of words about this car. It's actually just come out of a full engine rebuild and it's also had some other refurbishment work done. It's the first time that it will be driven after that. So I believe that the owner is just as excited as I am. And this is a good moment to hand the word over to Danny, who owns this beautiful 1991 car. Maybe before we get in the car and go, just a few words. Why an 832 and how did you find this car? Well, to tell the truth, when I was like a teenager when it came out, or even, even younger, I mean, I was already a fan of cars, Porsches, Ferraris, anything. And when I heard that there is like a sedan with a Ferrari engine, I said, wow, that's great. Maybe one day uh, I have one like this and, and it happened uh, by accident. One of my friends found two of them in Switzerland a few years ago. He brought them back to Hungary. I bought uh, the red one because he wanted to keep the black one. And that's how it started. It took three years to, to, to have this car in this shape and to be able to drive it. So I'm very excited for the first drive. Uh, definitely, it's a car which is very weird, which has a lot of uh, uh, flaws. But that's what makes it uh, also super exciting and that's the italian style car i mean who else would yeah. do that <laughs> uh, and who else would, would do also the interior everything it's it's really a, a, a special car and i'm happy that that actually i can say that i saved it and it's still on the road it's series two so there is only like 1500 of them i don't know how many left on the road yeah, the great thing about this car is that it's so original. It's the first paint, and I think the guys managed to, to get it back to um, almost factory fresh condition. Um, likewise, the interior, as we will see later. So it, it's just a fantastic car. But I think this car is all about the engine, so why don't we have a look under the hood and maybe fire it up as well? Okay, so I'm now in the driver's seat of Danny's beautiful Tema 832 and you just gotta love Italian design and the luxury. You really notice the difference to the lesser Temas. This has the dashboard completely done in the finest leather. Obviously you're in very comfortable leather sport seats. You have an Alcantara headliner, wood, plenty of instruments to keep you informed because after all, we're gonna go with a Ferrari V8, so we need to know what's happening. Um, it, it's just such a lovely place to be. It, it's very comfortable, electrically adjustable seats. Um, I, I think they put everything into this car that you could possibly want. So it was a true luxury car, but then again, it was twice the price of the Tema Turbo. It was more expensive than the BMW M5 or the Audi Quattro. And actually, apparently in the UK, if you choose a fully spec Tema, there was only a couple of thousand pounds difference to the Ferrari 328. Anyway, enough talking, beautiful interior, super comfortable, let's start. Pulls 
very strongly and has a glorious noise. It's, it's really, really very enjoyable to, to drive. The road is a bit bad, which gives off some noise. kind of car you throw around corners anyway. It's more of an out-of-bound cruiser, isn't it? It is. So the interior is completely original? Completely original. Wow. <clears throat> Even the leather, everything. It's, we didn't touch it. It's such a fantastic car. I think you were very lucky to find this, this particular example. Exactly. Most of them have these flaws on the uh, leather part of the dashboard. This one was completely okay, so I was happy with it. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Yeah. You kind of want to change down just to hear the, the noise of the engine, right? Yes, yes. Uh, it's brilliant. Above 4,000, you, you start hearing why it's so special and it's the Ferrari sound. Yes. And it doesn't stop until 7,000. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's got the orange at 7 and the red line at around 8 or 7.5 yes. maybe. Uh, yeah, 7.5. 7.5, okay. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Absolutely, I have a very comfortable driving position. None of this typically Italian long legs, uh, long arms rather. Sorry, no, it's very, very comfortable. Could do that all day for sure. That's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> and it's funny to think that this was a common development between Saab, Lancia, Fiat and Alfa Romeo. So basically the, the platform they used was the same for the Saab 9000, this car, the Tema, the Fiat Chroma and uh, the Alfa 164. I think they did a great job. And um, you, you really see that the character of each car is so different, although they actually shared the same platform. Fantastic. Love it. Okay, I think as always, when you take a car for a test drive the first time, we discovered some little things that might need minor adjustments, so it might go back to the workshop, but you get the feeling of how fantastic the car is to drive, the potential, and... Uh... Sorry, I just got to do it again. Isn't that just the best sound I really it. to die for? Yes. Super. Okay, great. Thanks for a very cool drive. Thank you for watching this short video of a very, very special car, the Lancia Thema 832. I hope you enjoyed the drive just as much as we did. It's funny because Danny and I actually live very close to each other. We met through our dogs when we were walking them and we realized that there are so many cool collector's cars in our neighborhood. So um, I really want to make a video with most of them if possible. So um, watch this space plenty more to come and again thank you so much Danny for sharing the car with us. Thank you Johan. Thank you.